so as Ravi said, I will spend just a few minutes uh, giving you the context to what got us together in this in this enterprise, uh, and that's another way of saying that I'm the marketing guy uh, for this. Um, the, the the ideas of seeded uh, among us uh, about four years ago, I guess, and there was no there was no particular spark, I and mean, it's not like something happened the day before, but uh, the thinking uh, among uh, David, uh, Ravi, Bruce, and I would be something like this. Uh, on, on the one hand, uh, I guess at, at the simplest level, we had had the development enterprise as we know it today uh, with us for about 60 years. And so it seemed like a good time to take stock. Uh, a lot had happened. Uh, what began uh, as a move perhaps to, 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 to build in uh, the peace in Europe and Asia and, and to avoid war through growth and integration and, and ultimately to support decolonization and reduce poverty, that, that whole stream had, had, had come to fruition in some ways. And so we thought that was one uh, opportune moment to, to reflect on the past and just as importantly, um, uh, try and predict in some senses what the trends going ahead might be. And that's what uh, my, my fellow panelists will be doing next. The second, I guess, uh, uh, spark was uh, the obvious success uh, of the development enterprise. Uh, uh, there are several uh, developing countries which they may still be classified that way, but they're definitely middle income. They now belong in what might be called the global halls of power. They're part of the G20. Uh, you simply do not think of re resolving important issues without having them in the room. Uh, so there was that side of it, but just as importantly and intriguingly, if you look at that list of countries, or if you look, look at development success more broadly, uh, they didn't get to where they got by following a single formula, much less uh, a consensual formula uh, 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 cooked up elsewhere. So there was a sense that the success in development owed itself to much more than a single line of thinking, uh, and we wanted to understand what it was that, that led to that diversity of experience and that diversity of thinking. Uh, and I guess uh, the, the third side of this would be that the crisis, the current one that began in about 2008, um, was also uh, a crisis not just financially, but in some senses a crisis of ideas and paradigms. And, and uh, it showed that the highly uh, embedded market model uh, even in countries where uh, it had worked uh, over so many decades uh, could lead to important uh, cataclysms. And so we simply could not think of a situation where ideas and good practice were bred here and were, and the only challenge was to transmit them there so that that could become like the former. So I, I thought the crisis in some senses uh, was one about uh, understanding how states and markets, to use that phrase, uh, interact with each other, but also do so in a ver very heterogeneous manner. Uh, and of course, uh, although this book is explicitly not about the aid business, there is no question that the financial crisis has led to and will lead to even further rethinking of bilateral and multilateral aid programs, if only because of the fiscal constraint, but also uh, other reasons. And, and then we speculate about the future, and we can come back to in a few minutes. Um, so that's on the, on, the, uh, on the substantive side. In, in terms of why the book, uh, our thought was that if we looked at, at, the, at the market, and in fact we did, uh, most of the books in development tend to be in one way or another discipline based and, and we thought that one of the, uh, one of the things we had observed uh, which we knew all along but was now crystallized in the 60 years of experience was that um, development is, is a multifaceted concept in every way and yet the books in the area tend to be uh, you know, you have books for economists and books for political scientists and lawyers, but there wasn't really that integrated approach to development, and we, we, we think we take a, a step in that direction. And just as importantly, we blend ideas and practice. And so we have uh, uh, in the chapters and in the authors several sections on the, the, the theory and the idea of development, 
but just as much uh, understanding uh, the various players involved in it and the experience of various regions in it. Uh, th the last point I'd make about the book is that books, as with uh, as in any uh, as in any case, um, tend to be time limited, and so. Uh, I will draw your attention to a website we've created called developmentideas.info, which went live uh, just a few days ago. And we hope that this uh, website will keep the book and the thinking around it live. Um, a lot of the book, by the way, is available in bits and pieces on the website. There's at least one webinar already on it. We hope that this website becomes the place where people gravitate on aspects of the book and, and, and continued debate around it, and so that we can refresh the chapters without having to worry about future editions and so on. Uh, last, uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll simply stop with this, uh, with this uh, half-baked thought. We were all asked, um, you know, what is it that in your area has changed, and, and, and uh, my contribution to that, and we can come back to it if you will, uh, if you want, is that the, uh, the, the development agendas and the global governance agendas are coming together. And uh, if you want to tackle many of the develop, uh, development problems going ahead, given everything we know about, about it so far, uh, we're not going to be able to do it without having some serious resolution of several global goods and bads, uh, of which I would, for example, name uh, financial instability and climate change as two examples, but not the only ones, where the disproportionate uh, influence that these have on the development enterprise means that we have to work together multilaterally, not in the old um, uh, north versus south uh, mode, but one in which we see that we're all in it together, but then recognize the differential impacts of these kinds of, uh, of, these kinds of uh, enterprises. So I'll stop there, Ravi, thank you.